Hey guys, I wanted to come and show you guys Levi. He is seven weeks and I wanted to do a seven week update on him and you know, a seven week or six week postpartum. There's Levi. Say hi. Say hi. He has been smiling and kicking and cooing and his personality has really started to come out. He's bulked up. He has rolls on his thighs. His cheeks have gotten a big. You gonna smile? You gonna smile? And I am still adjusting, but he's a really good baby. He, you know, he eats every three hours now. And um, sometimes he'll go four hours, or three to four hours, which is pretty good. And at night, he only wakes up probably two times and he's not super fussy i'm able to put him in his little bouncer swing and he's good with that and i haven't had any trouble nursing and he's just a really really good easygoing baby which i need for my fourth and um i am adjusting postpartum has been different this time i it took a lot longer for me to heal this time than it did with the others um, I had those cramps. Oh my gosh. I forget about the cramps every time. Those cramps are crazy. Like contractions. I could take contractions um, any day, but those cramps are like, whoa. And so I dealt with those for a while after him. And um, then my body, like my bones and stuff were really achy. And I didn't have that with the other ones. And so that was a surprise. Um, I just was really tired and slow and sluggish and just took me a while to get back up on my feet um but, and then it didn't with the others it didn't feel i don't remember it taking that long for me to get back on track when i had the others so um postpartum has just been different this time and um i don't know just every child is different your body just does something different every time but I've just been trying to enjoy the moments and soak it all in. And um, I've gotten to a good routine with him um, as far as like feeding and nursing. And um, my oldest daughter helps a lot. And so the hardest thing is probably getting out the house. Like we rarely go anywhere when it's just me. And if I have to go to a grocery something, store or something, my husband will keep the kids and I will go by myself. We've gone to the park a couple of times and I would just throw him in the Moby wrap or my ring sling and that has worked, but I'm still not 100% comfortable and confident with going out by myself with all of the children. So that is taking a little while longer. There he is. Hey Levi. Hey Levi, look. Look Levi. <laughs> look, look. And he did like a couple weeks. He was probably what, three weeks when he got a cold. And he's still a little congested from the cold. You know, when they're little like this, I hate when they get a cold because you can't do nothing about it. Like they give you the nose uh, suction thing and it's so big and their nose is so little and it just doesn't do anything. I have been using the Nose Frida. If y'all don't know about that, check that out because it's awesome. It looks weird and it looks crazy, but it is so helpful when the little ones have stuffy noses. Um, and so, yeah, he's still dealing with some of the congestion. And that's why you can hear him breathing like that. And it's sad, but I've been using essential oils and the nose Frida and putting them in the steam and the in a hot after you know running hot water in the bathroom closing all the doors and then putting him in the steam to try to loosen up some of the congestion but um he's getting better and so yeah it, that's what happens when you have other children who get cold and then they come here and you just can't keep them away from the baby so that happened but we've been having a pretty good postpartum i can't believe he's already seven weeks he'll be two months next week that is crazy Time is flying already. He's in three month old clothes. This is three month old, so he's in zero to three months. And he wears a size two diaper and he fits into his cloth diapers. So I'm gonna start transitioning over to the cloth diapers. We got a lot of disposables at the baby shower. 
and I usually do disposable diapers when we're out and about and then cloth when we're at home but I've been just doing disposable lately I haven't done cloth I've never I haven't put them on a cloth diaper but I did try them on the other day and they fit so I'm gonna start transitioning him over to cloth diapers when we're at home and yeah other than that everything's good he does take a bottle I've pumped and he's taken a bottle for my husband when I went out one time and so he hasn't had any trouble with that. He takes a passy, which is good. And he's just a really overall easy, easygoing baby. And I am so blessed to have him. And he's so cute. And he looks like my youngest daughter when she was a baby. Hold on, let me pick him up. She looks just like Elena when she was a baby. And they look like my husband, I think. I think they have my eyes. But I think they have a lot of my husband's features, like his little nose and his forehead. <laughs> hi. Can you say hi? Are you going to coo for us? Can you coo for us? He has on his little varsity football onesie. <laughs> it's so cute. Can you coo and smile? Hi, Levi. <gasps> Hi, Levi James. Oh, yeah, and he was like 7 11 when he was born, and now he's eight something. I don't know exactly, but he has put on put on the chunks. Mama got the good milk. Got the good milk, huh? Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh. mm, I'm going to miss this stage when the newborn. I love this. Look at his thighs. Look at them thighs. Look at those thighs. Look at those chunks. <laughs> and he has like cur little curls coming. Uh-oh, what happened? What happened? You sleepy? I think it's nap time. Okay, thank y'all for watching. Bye! Before he starts fussing. Ah. <laughs>